Good evening. Um, I'm going to do a reading. I did a lot of... Um, a lot of exercise today. My legs are getting so strong. So that's nice. I no longer feel like I'm just like noodle leg in it, right? I actually feel like pushing off the ground. <laughs> so yeah, that's cool. It's cool. I made this bread today. Um, and it was made out of like pork pork rinds, um, eggs, butter, and um, just a little bit of baking powder. But um, pff, it tastes like <laughs> it tastes like pork rinds and eggs. <laughs> um, but it's it's not bad. It's not bad. At least I have something to put a put a burger on. I like strayed from the beef diet and I ate a smoky and I instantly almost fainted, got a headache and itched everywhere. So I had to take an allergy pill and I really don't want to take allergy pills, but um, I, oh, <laughs> I can't do pork. I can't do pork. And I already knew this and I ate it again and Ugh. Recognition, someone wants to collaborate or work with or help you get your recognition. Only to attack your character. Only to fuck up future um, collabs. Like that's the secret. It's not. It's not a secret. Somebody's like uncommitted, no work ethic, no goals, no priorities, and wants to attack you to have your ships come in and drain you of your energy. Like what? There's just no sense to it. It's senseless. It's senseless. Keep trusting in your intuition, okay? And uncovering the truth about these people that um, give you bad vibes. <laughs> like someone wants to work to get together to give you some sort of recognition as sort of like as, as if you've achieved something, right? And want they want you to recognize it as recognition that you achieve something, okay? But secretly behind the scenes, scenes, they're working with other people in order to make you feel this way, but it's kind of like an illusion, kind of. It's a full-blown illusion so that you felt, feel like you've gotten the recognition you deserve, so that you're proud of something that you've achieved, but really it's people behind the scenes like fucking, what is it? lowballing you okay breadcrumbing you it's nothing near what these people stole and it's nothing what these people think 
These people, people secretly despise. They just want you to feel like you've gotten that recognition you deserve so that you're proud and you'll get over it. Please. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is this? But in their subconscious, they know that you know the truth. They know that you'll pull energy on it and make it clear. <sighs> I heard a bunch of grown babies. A bunch of grown babies. What is that? A bunch of grown babies. Can no longer juggle your energy. Can no longer switch your finances as theirs. Or juggle your energy. Because you're not available. You're not available. Good. Because <laughs> this is some toxic shit. So now they're working behind the scenes. To hold you in high honor. But it's like. To lowball you. These people of the past are like. Going to try to show you some respect. After knowing what the fuck they all put you through. Or hoping you, you just embrace the present moment. <laughs> like what? It's fake as fuck. It's fake. Like were you there at my downfall? Enough said. Were you, like, because that just, like, nobody helped you. If they were present, then, to hell with embracing them in this present moment, man. That, that was the, that, that was so last year. <laughs> that was so four years ago. That was so six years ago. Like, I don't know why someone thinks that all of a sudden they can just come embrace this present moment with you. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, don't come close. It's because of finances, that's for sure. They know you have a big heart. But you're not open to this. You're not open to love. You're not open to loving them. They, they, they did nothing but try to instill fear into you. And keep secrets. This is like a... I'm hearing an illusionist. Illusion, illusionist. So just fake through and through. Somebody's just embracing change. Huge trans transformation here. So I don't know why these people think that they can... Which is going to bring in the Ten of Cups. Keep embracing change, okay? Especially when it comes to past people or fam family members. They want you to drop your guard. Excuse me. Don't invite these people into your house. They're like in regret at a loss that you're moving on with your life. But it is, it is a really, 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 really good thing. Like now these people want to honor you. Because they know, they know the quality of that love that you give. Okay. And they abused it. So now it's denied. Okay. They know you, you that you're very clear. You're very clear on where you stand. And like you kind of have to put respect on that, right? Even if you're not a part of it. But these people are trying to like be a part of it and embrace you in the present moment. But like secretly behind the scenes, they, they're working together to like make you feel gassed up. 
so that you feel like you got the recognition that you deserve so that you're proud and that they can come in and like like woo you with this news but they can no longer juggle your energy and that's why they want to do this this is like the plan just keep trusting in your intuition and honor your ability to uncover the truth right it's a lot easier to uncover the truth when you're a truthful individual yourself, okay? Because when you live in your truth, you speak in your truth, you can tell what's not the truth. You can just tell. You can sense it. It has a certain feeling. It feels anxious. It feels heavy. It feels confused. mostly anxious okay but that's like the vibe it feels like sloughing off questions it feels like setting up a conversation like it feels like going upstream okay that's what it feels like it doesn't flow it's not calm um it's not looking you in the eyes, and if it is, that takes a special kind of liar. <laughs> because I've had people lie to me and do that. So, yeah, I don't fucking know what these people, this is what they're like wishing and hoping. They're hung up because you're adaptable and open to new possibilities, even with the stagnancies. Somebody's caught. Somebody tried to lay a trap and got caught up. Like somebody laid a trap out, set it up, and fell in it. <laughs> and then it just proved something. It allowed, it gave some sort of something to look into, if that makes sense. Like if you wouldn't have done that, if you wouldn't have set that up, pfft, then the the focus wouldn't be on you and what you just tried to fucking do. And now as they're looking into that, they're realizing that that how much people you collaborated, what you did, how entitled you feel to somebody else's shit, the illusions that you created, the courage that this person had to have, okay, to walk in their truth against all you guys, and it's putting respect on this person's name and you can no longer juggle their finances. Okay, how adaptable this person was due to all the stagnancies that you tried to create in their life. All the traps you tried to lay. Now that's the focal point. This person has no more love for you. It's like, I forgive you, I love you from afar, but I don't love you. Like, not like that. It'll no longer affect my heart. Like, I love everybody. I love everybody. But I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to give anybody love where it's not reciprocated in the same manner that I love. It's just a love from a distance and that's how it's going to stay. Wow, this is actually very powerful. But the people around you are still freaking out trying to like make a plan. And you're still embracing change in all forms. Transformation. Somebody fears death because this is the energy that they tried to send to you. Wow. Big change here. Embrace it. Outcome, Ten of Cups, lovers. What? <laughs> Somebody that will cherish you and the love that you, you give, okay? The abundance of love that you carry inside, they're going to cherish it. Okay? You will be everything that this person could have ever hoped for emotionally. <laughs> and... And them, you, 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 them. <laughs> that quality of love, okay? To able to freely express yourself. 
happy, mad, sad, frustrated, but there's that bond there where you're able to openly express how you're feeling and have that person work with you. That quality love. That love that doesn't judge. That love that doesn't have any condition. Wow. So keep doing what you're doing pretty much, okay? Don't get gassed up by these people from the past. Don't do it. You're better than that, okay? And they proved it to you. They're going to be nice, okay? They're going to pump your tires up. They're going to, everything you say, they're going to laugh and, and have you recognize that, that, that they see you in your achievements, okay? But that's a trick. These past people ain't shit for real. They showed you that already. Take it to be true a lot. Like when people show you who they are, believe it. Remember that. Remember what they did. Remember how that made you feel. And then release it and just know it to be true until they prove it to you otherwise. And how they have to do that is be accountable for their actions, for how it made you feel. And the reasonings behind it, because there's always a reason. And until then, they're not, they're not speaking their truth. They're not addressing it. They're manipulating you. Okay? It depends on how the apology is. It has to have all of those things to be a legit apology. And even if it has all of those things, if they are to do that again, that's manipulation, man. An apology without changed behavior is manipulation. People can cry as hard as they want. It doesn't mean they're sorry. If that they can't say why they're sorry... And why they, uh, things that led up to that moment, what they were feeling, thinking, what made them take that action, their intention behind it. If they can't do that, then they're not fucking sorry. They're just not. And that's okay. It, it's okay. It's, it's really okay. But don't take it as they're sorry. Like, people, like, we're going to have to accept them where they're at, right? They might be on that lesson forever. And that's okay. But it doesn't mean that we need to like be in close range of their dysfunction. Because it will affect us. Even if, like, especially if we're, if we're walking in our truth. And we have to be around that and be disappointed all the time. Be affected. Have our life be affected like that. You need to set boundaries. And you need to be very clear and concise with them. Like you do that. I'm not going to be around you as much. Or you do that, you're not going to be in my life. And this is how it's going to be. And I have to do that for me. Okay. Ten of Swords. They want to work together to end you. Good luck. Good luck. Especially because this person is proud of what they do. You don't have to vindicate this person. You don't have to gas this person up. They know. They recognize themselves. They give themselves these accolades. You don't got to do shit. You don't even exist, man. You don't even exist to this person. Or at least you shouldn't. These people have tried to kill you and they're still trying. They're working together, yes, to, to learn new skills about you so they can more accurately send someone in to work with you to fucking kill you, man, to end you and then continue to steal your shit. This is so annoying. This is so annoying. I'm so annoyed. Okay? 
This is like multiple attempts at somebody's life. And they're still trying to fucking do this shit behind the scenes. But they know in the back of their head that you're going to unravel the truth. So then why even try to do it? This is just fucking annoying. Like, fucking do it, man. Do it. How did it turn out for you any of the other times? Behind the scenes competition. Pfft. Is it really a competition though when the other person doesn't even know? That's fucking sad. This is sad. They don't want your defenses up. They want to come in as the truth. But it's fake. I called it as fake as soon as I flipped the first three cards. You don't think that that's going to happen in person? Of course it is. There's like a certain messages, messages back and forth of how you can no longer transfer funds or transfer this person's funds as yours. You can no longer juggle this person's energy because you're like exempt. This person's not juggling anything back and forth. They're very secure in what they've decided for themselves and how these past people aren't going to be a part of their life. They're just not. Okay, and now these people are like confused of what to do because these illusions that you've casted upon somebody are out. Okay, you're not going to know how to be able to get this person to ever respect you. That, that respect they had for you is out the fucking window when you tried to ten of swords them on multiple occasions. Like, I don't know what in your like in your mind ever made you think that you'd be able to pull the wool over someone's eyes. Like you exposed yourself and they know it to be true. <laughs> like I, I, I'm like, it boggles me how people think that like, there's like how many people in this world? Yeah, you won't be a part of this person's life. And there's no way you can train someone to be. They'll recognize it. The cards will come out as, as what it is, man. <laughs> it is what it is. Move on. Make new possibilities for yourself. Be more adaptable within your situation. And stop fucking trying to buy curiously live through someone else. It's weird. Stop trying to lie about someone and claim what's theirs. It's weird. You're a weirdo. Obviously speaking to a karmic. <laughs> you want per this person to miss out on opportunities, to have more stagnancies, what's fucking new? But this person's adaptable and creates new opportunities for themselves. And they're ignoring the shit out of you, like blocked, delete block, block, delete, control, alt, delete. See you never. And this person has like extraordinary love, a love that's meant to be cherished, an abundance of it. So someone fucked up, <laughs> someone fucked up. You cherished, you cherished what this person had owed to their name more than you cherished their love. You just come around this person, take a bit of their energy, the way that they made you feel inside. Okay, because this love radiates off of them. Just the, the way that they're very supportive of, pe supportive of people. Like it's a special kind. It's a special kind of love. This person will love anybody until they can't. Until they've made it so that they can't. That takes a special person. And you abused it for what they got. And you're still trying to ten of swords them. What's wrong with you? 
there's no empathy there. That's like a real, real time question you need to ask yourself. What's wrong with me that I don't cherish this type of love, the unconditional kind? So somebody's acting as if they want to embrace all change or trying to lay down the law when it comes to this transformation. You're caught. You're caught stealing. Time, money, energy, right? I, talk, I spoke about this, this time, money, energy thing this morning. There's no moving into calmer waters with this person. You fucked it. All the way. You all the way fucked it. This person's cold. Turned off. Yeah, you were up on your high horse trying to ride this thing out. Fucking balling out <laughs> with the community. By any means necessary, all you fucking wanted to do was flaunt this shit as if it was yours. It wasn't even yours. And like you put that above love, man. This person's authentic and they always will be. Pure, kind-hearted, gentle, loving soul. And you're always going to be the person that abused that and continues to try to do that. damn like who does that any anybody who is to be a witness to the relationship with you and this person would be like bro sis what the fuck is wrong with you that was everything that was everything that is anything that anyone could ask for that is all loving that is all supportive that is all advocating that is all trying to find the greatness in you and have you live in that. And fun too. Like this person was fun. This person would have fun with you. It's not like they were a tight ass by any means. They were like, this person would get you out of fucking anything. And if they were a witness to any of the text messages, phone calls, and like being a witness to that relationship, they would be like, I'm on her side. You fucked up. Or I'm on his side. You fucked up. Like, who does that? Who does that? Somebody out of their mind, out of their body. Somebody with something else um, taking control. Ego, pride, entity, whatever it is. Just no respect for self and others. <sighs> so you have integrity, okay? You're doing the right thing. It's just these past people that are a bit annoying, okay? Gossip in the reverse. Yeah, you're like a fucking gossip queen, gossip king. It's discovered that this person has integrity. Okay, and the, the entire reason why I got looked into was because you, you put people's eyes on it. <laughs> you know? This, like, should have been dropped. This should have been dropped. Unique. This person's very new, unique. When people are watching this person, they're very confused. They're discovering that this was a bunch of shit, a bunch of gossip. Okay? Okay, that, that the, what you, what you spread about this person was nasty, man. Sex. Jealous, you were just jealous of this person. Negative thinking in the reverse. Resentment. 
power to forgive. This person already forgave you. It's just you that has the resentment and bring bring the confusion to the table. House in the reverse, ungrateful. Sacrifice in the reverse. Yeah. You tried to sacrifice this person. And you want them to forgive you. You want them to embrace the present moment. This person grew. They grew from everything that is your negative thinking. They grew from all the nastiness. Okay? The, the degrading behavior. The belittling behavior. The superior superiority behavior. The jealous behavior. The resentful behavior. Being confused. Okay? Being confused because they actually loved you. And you were actually resentful and jealous and nasty. There is a sense of confusion there. Like, why doesn't this person see that I love them? Why, this, why won't this person feel how much I love them? Maybe you were jealous of the way that they love, how unique they were as a person. The way people looked at this person and was like, wow, you're a lucky guy. You're a lucky woman. You just had to be a hater. You couldn't cherish it. And this person knows that. The ancestors know it. You're a follower. It's a very sexual-based relationship. Guilt trip. Like, if this person were to open up communication with you, they would try to guilt trip you. <laughs> Aries. Family dispute, heartbreak in reverse. Yeah, you can't even break this person's heart. They're not attached to you like that. They don't care like that. They did. They they felt that pain. They felt that hurt. They gave it to God. They purged it out. And now you just look at, like everything that you are, like an imposter. You put this family in ruin. To follow other people. You broke this person's heart over and over and over again. And guilt tripped them back into your life. And now it's your karma to be looked at as a fucking poser. An imposter. A liar. And for this person to find real genuine love. And be completely turned off by you. This person could even have a child. Like um, like a child. With this new love. Anyways. <laughs> Damn. That was annoying. That was annoying. Like, you already think that you're better than this person. Why don't you just keep living that? Because that's, that's what you feel. Because you lie all the time. So just keep living that lie. It'd be easier on you. It would be. But. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. There's no growth that way. There's, there's being manipulated that way because you're not living in the truth. You're living in a lie. So you're easily, you're easily susceptible to that. You don't sit with self ever to think that that person's manipulating you. Because you can't sit with self because you're a fucking liar. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, I'm going to try to find a page that we didn't do. Okay, I feel like this one's appropriate, so we're going to do this one. Angel number 65. Be flexible with changing your plans. I need a drink. Once I get something in my mind, a plan, it can get tricky to let go of it and go with the flow. 
I was taught, and to some degree, it's certainly true, that success or successfully completing a project re requires perseverance. At the same time, however, inflexibility creates an enormous amount of inner stress and is often irritating and insensitive to other people. I like to do the majority of my writing in the wee hours of the morning. I might have the goal in this book, for example, to complete one or two strategies before anyone else in the house wakes up. But what happens if my four-year-old wakes up early and walks up the stairs to see me? My plans have certainly been altered, but how do I react? Or I might have the goal to go out for a run before going to the office. What happens if I get an emergency call from the office and I have to skip my run? There are countless potential examples for all of us. Times when our plans suddenly change. Something we thought was going to take place doesn't. Someone doesn't do what they said they would do. You make less money than you thought you would. Someone changes your plans without your consent. You have less time than previously planned. Something unexpected comes up and on and on it goes. The question to ask yourself is what's really important? We often use the excuse that it's nat natural to be frustrated then when our plans change. That depends, however, on what your priorities are. Is it more important to stick to some rigid writing schedule or to be available for my four-year-old? Is missing a 30-minute run worth getting upset over? The more general the question is, what's more important, getting what I want or keeping my plans? or learning to go with the flow. <laughs> Getting what I want and keeping my plans or learning to go with the flow. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Clearly to become more, more of a peaceful person, you must prioritize being flexible over rigidity most of the time. Obviously there will be exceptions. I've also found it helpful to expect a certain percentage of plans change. If I make allowances in my mind for this inevitability, then when it happens, I can say, here's one of those inevitabilities. You'll find that if you create the goal to become more flexible, some wonderful things will begin to happen. You'll feel more relaxed, yet you won't sacrifice any productivity. You may become an even more productive person because you won't need to expand so much energy being upset and worried. I've learned to trust that I'll keep my deadlines, achieve most of my goals, and honor my responsibilities despite the fact that I may have to alter my plans slightly or even completely. Finally, the people around you will be more relaxed too. They won't feel like they have to walk on eggshells if, by some chance, your plans have to change. So, like, corresponding with the reading is, like, someone's trying to change a plan in order to have the same goal, same outcome, same motive, same shit, different day. Angel number 66, think of what you have instead of what you want. Wow, let's read this. <laughs> in over a dozen years as a stress consultant, one of the most Pervasive and destructive mental tendencies I've seen is that of focusing on what we want instead of what we have. It doesn't seem to make a difference how much we have. We just keep expanding our list of desires, mm -hmm. which guarantees we'll remain dissatisfied. Like, do you, did, like, if you're one of these people that, like, completely frauded somebody out and got things off of, on others back like you're 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 making your profit off the back of others okay um 
off the distress of others and it brings you a sense of like accomplishment okay i guarantee you're not satisfied yet because when you did it once you had to do it again and then you had to do it again and you had to do it again until all the juice was squeezed out of that lemon okay and then you're trying to completely do it again so that you can just have life insurance <laughs> And even then, that won't be satisfying to you because you're going to blow through that too if it gets to happen. Because you are just unpleasant. An unpleasant individual. Very self-centered. Focused on all the wrong things. Guarantees dis dissatisfied. The mindset that says, I'll be happy when this desire is fulfilled is the same mindset that will repeat itself once after the desire is met. A friend of ours closed escrow. I don't know what that is. On his new home on a Sunday. The very next time we saw him, he was talking about his next house that he was going to make even bigger. He isn't alone. Most of us do this the very same thing. We want this or that. If we don't get what we want, we keep thinking about all that we don't have and remain dissatisfied. If we do get what we want, we simply recreate the same thinking in our new circumstance. So despite getting what we want, we still remain unhappy. Excuse me. Happiness can't be found when we're yearning for new desires. <laughs> yeah, like only if you already have that happiness within can you... <laughs> oh shit just wait I'm just gonna finish reading this luckily there's a there is a way to be happy it involves changing the emphasis of our thinking from what we want to what we have rather than wishing your spouse were different try thinking about her wonderful qualities Instead of complaining about your salary, be grateful that you have that job. Rather than wishing you were able to take a vacation to Hawaii, think of how much fun you had staying close to home. The list of possibilities is endless. Each time you notice yourself falling, following, falling into the I wish life were different trap, <laughs> Okay, we were speaking about traps. Back off and start over. Take a breath. And remember all that you have to be grateful for. When you focus not on what you want, but what you have, you end up getting more of what you want anyway. <laughs> If you focus on the good qualities of your spouse, she'll be more loving. If you're grateful for your job rather than complaining about it, you'll do a better job, be more productive, and probably end up getting a raise anyway. If you focus on the ways to enjoy yourself around home rather than waiting to enjoy yourself in Hawaii, you'll end up having more fun. If you ever do get to go to Hawaii, you'll be in the habit of enjoying yourself. And if you by some chance, and if by some chance you don't, you'll have a great life anyway. Hmm. Make a note to yourself to start thinking more about what you want, what you have, than what you want. If you do, your life will start appearing much better than before. 
for, per, for perhaps the first time in your life, you'll know what it means to feel satisfied. Wow. Okay, I'm not going to add to that. I will be back tomorrow morning, and I hope you guys all have a good night and a wonderful sleep. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, like, these weapons will form, but they won't prosper, right? So just... <laughs> Make it a no-go zone for these past people who feel entitled to your energy. <laughs> Don't let them gas you up. Or let them gas you up, but just recognize it for what it is. Okay, bye.